So what's really amazing to see is the rollout of biometric technologies on mobile devices. The challenge is, as we roll out these commercial systems, is there's going to be a spectrum of solutions. Some biometric systems will be very, very good, and some might be either very weak or just a pain to use. If you're using, doing iris recognition, typically you're working in what's called the near-infrared zone. It's um, using that, the near infrared, because for dark eyes, it's very hard to see the pattern in our visible spectrum. Certainly your face has a lot of features. You've heard of face recognition. So you could do a, information around the eye. We call that ocular recognition. The other thing that you can do is actually look at the vein pattern and the whites of your eye. So depending on the system, any one of those different things could be used for recognition. The trouble comes is when you get into the space of apps, you know, and you already know this, you know, not all apps for a particular thing are as good. One app may be better than another app, and that's gonna be true for biometric recognition. Most security mechanisms are gonna have some kind of vulnerability, and biometrics is the same. And so we're actually studying um, those vulnerabilities and then ways to mitigate. So the ways to, to help reduce the vulnerabilities. For irises, we provide data of real irises, images of uh, good irises, and images where someone's tried to fake the device. Then we actually provide it to researchers around the world, both in companies and in um, academics, and then they can build their own piece of software to say that's fake and that's live. So we might take a picture and print that picture out and then hold it in front of the camera. And then they can also be using pattern contact lenses. Now it's really hard to, to fake to be someone specific in that scenario. In that scenario, you're hiding for some reason. So you might wear a pattern contact lens to obscure your natural iris pattern. We can help people roll out um, solutions to the, the spoofing or the faking problem.